chest. Dr. Alex Wills, some really deep uh, thinking here. Because how often do we talk about this? We've got to fix our emotions because they're unpleasant, you know, whether you're anxious, whether you're angry, whether you're, well, you know, slap a smile on it. And he's telling us, look, emotions aren't the problem. They're giving us clues and they're trying to help me. What a, what a, good, what a good way to think about things. Yeah, I- interesting that you're dealing with emotions and you're trying to take the emotion out of it, <laughs> right? Yeah. And say, look, look at your emotion as data points. I thought that was really interesting. What are the data points telling you? What can you learn from that as opposed to, you know, that negative self-talk that, well, I'm a loser and here's the evidence, right? Rather than taking the data points and saying, here's what I'm learning, here's the evidence that, yes, I'm miserable, I'm a loser, mm-hmm. and I might as well just go back to bed, right? Well, and the idea, too, kind of, kind of almost akin to seeing color, is that, you know, I'm, I'm going to choose not to see yellow or blue today. No, you can't do that. Well, we're fighting with our natures to say, I am not going to feel angry, jealous, insecure, <laughs> whatever we feel normally that are so-called negative emotions. Instead, are we digging below these to say, okay, why am I feeling this way? Um, I think that's some really powerful thinking. Yeah, he used one of my favorite words, you know, curiosity. Mm-hmm. I get curious about your emotions, you know, and the idea of the gratitude journal uh, made me laugh. You know, we, we, we've talked about producing our own gratitude journal. I thought, oh, here it goes. You know, he's going to talk us out of it. And yet when he when he got deeper, he said, don't be grateful for the f- kind of foofy things that, you know, are going to be there. Yeah. Be grateful for those emotional problems. What did it teach you? What are you learning from that? Yeah. And, and you know, we, we talk about this all the time, you know, that we learn more from our mistakes. We learn more from hard times than we do good times. And I thought that was a great takeaway from it. It is. You know, and, and, you know, Alex is a scientist, right? He's a, he's a psychiatrist, so he's got his medical degree, but he's done many, many hours of organic chemistry and physics and all these right. things. And so he's a little bit of a cynic. And so somebody told him, write a gratitude journal. He's thinking, <laughs> that's the dumbest thing I've ever done. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. so he found a way to push himself. Now, I want to come to the working world because he talked a little bit about what managers can do and what we can do in the workplace. And as he started describing his situation and some health issues he's going through, first and foremost, I noticed he was very vulnerable. He's telling his people, hey, I'm going through some hard stuff right now. Secondly, he's saying, "Um, look, the work world is always rough waters. He says, we're surfers. We're going to be, our jobs are to surf the waves, not to want these waves to go away. Um, And I thought that was a good way of looking at things as well. And then he said, you know, and it was an, an emotional trigger, right? Uh, your gut is going to tell you something's not right. So be curious about that and figure it out. Like, this is not the way you normally act. Something's off. And if something's off, be curious and, and figure it out. Because, you know, as we well know, the team often will understand that something's going wrong long before you will because you're busy being the boss. You know, you're busy solving the problems, right? And, 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 and I loved, again, coming back to that curiosity. Yeah. Something's off. That's an emotion. Yeah. Explore that. Dig deep. What's it telling you? Right. Uh, you know, a couple of last things, you know, just being grateful for our problems because that, you know, as we, we kind of look at, you know, the tough things we've gone through in our lives, I think we've learned more for those tough things than we have maybe the good things as well. And the last thing was this idea of choosing to act versus mm-hmm. not. And, and that's profound because there are some, but at least we are aware when all of a sudden we realize, and, you know, we talked about, you know, we, we gaslight ourselves that we don't see kind of sometimes the things that are going on. And you, you talked about the toad in the pot and that sometimes we, we don't realize that we're in this kind of negative toxic space. But when we pull ourselves out, and we start to see kind of what's going on, get this emotional data that we may decide, look, I've got to stay because maybe it's my boss and, you know, wh- whatever it is. Or maybe, it, like we said, it's mom and <laughs> she's not going to change at 93 um, or whatever it is, right? But at least we can make that choice to, to, uh, to we're empowered to do something or not. Yeah, my last takeaway is really that inner voice piece, which I struggle with myself, right, is uh, choose your story. You can choose your story, right? You, you don't have to let the story happen to you. And that inner voice, I'm only going to think happy thoughts today. Well, that's probably a little Pollyanna. You know? <laughs> uh, and my last one on gratitude as well is thank the F, fill in the blank, right? Thank it. Thank that because that's yeah. what's going to help build you up and, and be a little better. Fascinating stuff. Um, his book, 
The title is, again, and say it carefully, Adrian, but it's uh, <laughs> Give an F Actually, you know, How to Deal with Stress and Anxiety, available at fine bookstores everywhere, and, of course, his website that he gave us as well. I'm sure it's well worth the read. That's right. Very edgy. Very edgy. So, yeah. a very edgy title. Okay, big thanks to our producer, Brent Klein, who, who takes all of what we uh, do here and makes it uh, coherent. To Christy Lawrence, who helps us find amazing guests like Alex. And to all of you who listen in, we are grateful for you. Yeah, and if you like the podcast, you know, share it with your friends and family if it can be of help to them. And, you know, uh, visit us at thecultureworks.com for some free resources to help you and your team build a culture that will thrive. And then never forget, Adrian in particular is a spectacular speaker for a conference you might have. And if he's not available, I will be. <laughs> we love to speak at conferences live and uh, virtually on culture, leadership, anxiety at work, and of course, how to lead with gratitude. Adrian, what did well, I miss? Oh, well, buy the book, Anxiety at Work, oh, yeah. and uh, that will help uh, with a lot of these issues. And we want to thank you for uh, for allowing us to uh, come into your ears today as we uh, as we share some ideas and you know please join us again come to thecultureworks.com for free resources and until next time we wish you the best of mental health mm-hmm.